So I feel like I haven't been filming, I haven't really filmed a vlog in about two or three months. It's been a while. I'm currently in Houston airport. Uh, started the night off, started the morning off pretty early. I want to do something a little bit different. Being that I am currently on my way to Cancun, Mexico, which is going to be my 14th country. So, since this is a new place I haven't gone to before, I just wanted to film for you guys my routine for what I do when I visit a brand new country. And hopefully that makes your life a little bit easier when you're planning your next trip. My gate is about to open up, starboarding, so I gotta head over there before we start do doing this video. Alright, so my flight is like delayed for at least 10 minutes, so I got some time. So before I even get on my flight, before I even get it to an airport, um, the first thing I ever do is to do my research about where I'm going. So I don't do any research on YouTube really, um, except for accommodation really. My entire re research consists of Facebook and you'd be really surprised. Every country that I've gone to, I have joined an expats group in Facebook. So for example, when I went to Vietnam, I went on the Facebook, I searched for expats living in Ho Chi Minh City, expats living in Vietnam, such and such. Even when I moved to Bali, first thing I did was search expats living in Bali. It's literally your one-stop shop for everything you need from information as far as scams, um, tourist traps, where to go, what to do, where to eat, all that stuff. These Facebook groups consist of locals and um, expats and foreigners living there. Now, the great thing about these Facebook groups is that you're literally speaking to people that are actually living in that area. So they're gonna give you, well, most of them are gonna give you your honest, your honest opinion, except for the locals, which might be a little bit biased, but for the most part, these Facebook groups are amazing because you're literally speaking to people that have personal experience and that are in that area right now living there experiencing it at that moment so right now my when i joined the cancun expats group the first thing i asked was how much is going to is it going to cost me for me to get a taxi from the airport to my accommodation so that i can get a realistic price as to um, if the locals are actually charging me the tourist price or the actual price that it's supposed to be so my flight is boarding let's go get on the flight and then i will see you guys in cancun and then that's where we're going to begin the rest of the video i'm in mexico so finally got to mexico let's go but i gotta fill out my immigration stuff because I did not have my pen on me. All right, so as far as bag claim, nothing really to it. Uh, customs is really easy. Um, so next is either a SIM card or money exchanging. So first thing I see is money exchange. So let's see how much this is gonna cost me. Now, typically you don't wanna exchange money at airports just cause, well, the rate's not gonna be as good compared to anywhere else. The exchange rate here, is 19 pesos per a dollar right now the market's like 22 pesos per per dollar us dollar so kind of losing like three dollars but if worst comes to worst i exchange only a hundred dollars at the airport and then i exchange the rest in the city just so i can have at least money for taxi money for bus whatever transportation i'm taking to my accommodation and then get the rest of my money exchanged in the city because the rates can be a lot better in the city compared to the airport. Uh, just did exchange a hundred. What's that? Passport. Passport. Oh, thank you. Cool, thank you. All right, well, I lost about 300 pesos on that one. So, not sure how many dollars that is. Not too much. One thing you want to do is obviously count the money before you leave the counter and make sure it's all there. Uh, that's the only other tip. And now, as you're about to exit the airport, you're about to get bombarded with taxis. So, um, what I've learned is that uh, taxis to play at the Carmen where I'm going is going to be about like 40-ish dollars. Uh, 
I need a ticket. So you play it on common? In one hour? Okay, that's fine. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, pesos, yep. You said 200? Yeah. One, four, four. One, four, four. So side to the right. To the right, awesome, thank you. All right, so what I have decided to do instead of getting a taxi and paying $40 for it, so I'm going to play at Del Carmen and it's a bit of a drive. So what I just did is got an auto bus. It's cost me like 208 pesos. So conversions like maybe $10, less than $10 I think. Now, the only thing I haven't found is SIM card. So I usually get a SIM card. Um, haven't found any at the airport, which is a really big surprise, honestly. Maybe I just haven't gone far enough down yet, but I'm about to get to where the buses and the taxis are and I still haven't found a single shop for SIM cards. So, here's the solution um, to this. So, before I travel, I always download an offline version of Google Maps for where I'm going. Um, so, in this case, when I don't have internet or don't have a SIM card, I can still access Google Maps. I still know where I'm going and how to get there, basically. It's a very great feature Google is has uh, created and I love it. I use it every single time. So when you're gonna be getting to your accommodation, transportation is the big thing. Um, so you're either gonna grab a taxi, an Uber, which does not exist here, it's illegal. Uber is illegal in Mexico, so you can't use it. Um, or you can use the auto bus, which is like public transportation, but a lot cheaper than of course paying like over $40 plus for a taxi to get to where you're going. Um, so. Gonna go ahead and find my bus. It is hot here. Holy crap! It's uh, it's like summer all over again, and it's humid too. 100% humidity. Oh my god, my hair! So I just found out that little mini market, or I guess that little bar, had an exchange rate of 20 pesos per U.S. dollar. So if you wanna save an extra peso. <laughs> wonder how much that would have saved me, actually, if I did it over there. Alright, on the bus. They've got these uh, dividers. If you're by yourself, and sitting next to somebody. This is supposed to help. With <laughs> But I guess maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. got off the bus and uh, I was just sweating as a pig walking to find my uh, Airbnb. So um, this is basically going to conclude the day. For tomorrow's video guys, I'm going to do a Airbnb tour, um, show you guys where I'm staying at exactly and a uh, quick first look as to Playa del Carmen area and, all, and whatnot. Hopefully get some, uh, some good food because that's one of the reasons I came here anyway. Overall, pretty hectic travel day. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment down below, guys. Um, I finally got a SIM card, by the way, just to give you an update. It cost me uh, 100 pesos. It was a, prom a promotional deal from Telcel. Um, I got like 300 megabytes, and you just basically refill it as, as much data as you need. So, basically, the 100 pesos just covers the SIM card, essentially, um, and just a few data for the day. So, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and fill that up. Might get a haircut because I really need one. As you can see, it's getting pretty crazy. And one of the guy, one of the guys at the barbershop whistled me down. He's like, hey, haircut, 120. So uh, maybe I'll get that tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, give it a like. Uh, if you guys are coming down to Cancun, play Del Carmen, Tulum, wherever, comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.